Hello and welcome to this session on the role of Rust in edge computing, enhancing cloud computing security. I'm Venu Kumar, a senior software development engineer at Amazon, and I'm thrilled to share some insights with you today. Here is an overview of what we'll be covering in today's presentation. First, we'll start with an introduction to edge computing to set the stage for why the technology is becoming increasingly important. Next, we'll dive into an introduction to Rust, focusing on its core principles and why it's well suited for system level programming. We'll then explore the role of Rust in edge computing, where I will highlight how Rust features enhance security and performance in these environments. After that, I will discuss enhancing security in cloud computing with Rust, showcasing how Rust can help address some security challenges in cloud-based systems. We'll also look at some case studies and real-world applications to see how Rust is being implemented in the industry. Finally, we'll wrap up with a conclusion that recaps the key points and offers some thoughts on the future of Rust in Edge Computing. With that roadmap in mind, let's dive right into the first topic, an introduction to Edge Computing. Edge Computing is what brings computation and data storage closer to the data sources, such as sensors, devices, and users, rather than relying solely on centralized cloud data centers. By processing data locally, Edge Computing uh, reduces latency, which is the time it takes for data to travel from its source to a central server and back. This is particularly important for applications that require real-time processing, where even slight delays can be critical. Additionally, it helps to reduce bandwidth usage, since not all data needs to be sent to the cloud. Only the most important or processed data is transmitted, which optimizes network efficiency. Edge computing is widely used in applications that require immediate processing and quick decision-making. For example, in the Internet of Things, autonomous vehicles and smart cities, it allows these system to, systems to operate efficiently and safely by processing data on site. To give you a con concrete example, um, Netflix leverages edge computing to cache content closure to users. This means that when you stream a movie or TV show, it's often delivered from a nearby server rather than from a distant data center. This reduces latency and significantly improves your streaming quality illustrates the fundamental concepts of edge computing. The data processing occurs closer to the data sources rather than relying solely on centralized cloud data centers. As you can see, the cloud is at the top, representing the traditional centralized cloud infrastructure. However, instead of sending all, the, all data directly to the cloud, we have edge devices like IoT sensors and smart home devices that collect, collect data and process it locally at the edge of the network. The arrow in the diagram indi indicate the flow of data. First, data is generated by edge devices and is sent to a nearby edge server. This edge server handles the data, processing tasks locally, significantly reducing the latency and bandwidth usage. Only the necessary processed data is then sent to the cloud for further analysis or storage. This approach offers several key benefits. By processing data closer to its source, edge computing reduces latency, leading to faster decision making which is crucial for applications like real-time IoT operations and autonomous vehicles. It also reduces the amount of data that needs to be transmitted to the cloud, optimizing bandwidth usage. Additionally, edge computing can enhance security. Since the data is processed locally, there is less risk of in interception across like uh, uh, during transmission, and sensitive data can be closer to its source. This is particularly important in scenarios where data privacy and security are paramount. This slide, slide presents a comparison between traditional cloud computing and edge computing, specifically focusing on latency and bandwidth usage. As depicted in the chart, traditional cloud computing tends to have higher latency and bandwidth usage. This is because data has to travel back and forth from the central cloud servers, which can be located far from the data source. On the other hand, edge computing significantly reduces both latency and bandwidth usage by processing data closure to its where it's generated. This proximity to the data source allows for faster response and more efficient data handling. This reduction in latency and bandwidth is particularly critical for applications requiring real-time processing with limited network resources as well. These benefits make edge computing an increasingly attractive option for modern applications, especially in areas like smart devices and autonomous systems. Edge computing is becoming increasingly vital in modern technology due to several key factors. First, 
It supports the rapid growth of IoT devices and the need for decentralized processing. As the number of IoT devices continues to skyrocket, processing data closure to these devices is essential to manage the vital or like vast amounts of information they generate efficiency. Efficiently. Edge computing enables faster decision making in critical areas like healthcare, finance, and manufacturing. In healthcare, for example, immediate data processing at the edge can be the difference between life and death in emergency situations. Similarly, in finance and manufacturing, real-time data analysts analysis at the edge can lead to quicker, more informed decisions that drive efficiency and productivity. Finally, by reducing dependency on centralized cloud systems, edge computing allows for more resilient and responsive systems. This decentralization means that even if there is a disruption in the central cloud, edge devices can continue to operate independently. Ensure, ensuring continuous service and reducing potential downtimes. In essence, edge computing is not just a technological advancement, but a necessity in a world where speed, efficiency, and reliability are paramount. Edge computing is, is a game changer across various industries, particularly where real-time data processing and quick decision-making are crucial. Let's start with IoT devices. Edge computing is essential for the Internet of Things because these devices need to process data locally to function efficient, effectively. For instance, smart home devices that adjust settings in real time based on user behavior. By processing data on the edge, these devices can respond instantly, improving user experience and efficiency. Next, we have autonomous vehicles. Self-driving cars rely heavily, heavily on edge computing. It processes vast amounts of data from sensors in real time. This immediate processing capability is critical because it enables faster decision making, which directly impacts safety on the roads. Without edge computing, the latency involved in sending data to a central cloud lead to delays that makes these systems less reliable. Lastly, in healthcare, edge computing supports wearable health devices by enabling real-time monitoring and quicker responses in emergency situations. For example, a wearable device that monitors a patient's vital signs can use edge computing to alert health, healthcare providers instantly. Like if it, de if it detects a critical issue, allowing for immediate intervention. As we move towards more de decentralized computing models, uh, particularly with, ed with edge computing, new security challenges emerge that require our attention. Firstly, the decentralized nature of edge computing significantly increases the attack surface. Unlike traditional centralized systems, where security measures are Concentrated, a distributed network of devices means more potential entry point for attackers. This makes security, securing each node in the network critically important. With distributed networks, ensuring data privacy and integrity becomes even more challenging. Data processed at the edge might not be subject to the same rigorous security protocols as in centralized cloud environments. This makes it harder to ensure that data remains secure and unaltered throughout its life cycle. Traditional cloud security measures designed for centralized systems may not be sufficient in these distributed scenarios. The unique demands of edge computing necessity necessitates new approaches and technologies to secure data effectively. This is where Rust comes into play. With its focus on safety and performance, Rust provides robust tools and frameworks that help address these new security challenges. Thus, memory safety features, for instance, helps prevent vulnerabilities, which can be exploited in a decentralized environment. Now that we have discussed the challenges in cloud security, let's turn our attention to Rust. Rust is a pro powerful programming language known for its safety and performance, making it an excellent tool for addressing these challenges. Let's take a look, closer look at what makes Rust stand out. Rust is a modern system programming language that has been designed with a strong emphasis on safety and performance. One of Rust's standout features is its ability to provide memory safety without the need for a garbage collector. This means that Rust can manage memory in a way that prevents common bugs like null pointer library dereferencing and buffer overflows, which are often sources of security vulnerabilities in other languages. Rust is ideal for writing low-level code that is both fast and secure. This makes it a preferred choice for system-level programming, where performance and reliability are critical. Just some history about Rust. 
The first stable release of Rust was released in 2015 by Mozilla Research. The primary motivation behind Rust development was to tackle the challenges of memory safety, concurrency, and performance. This is that have long plagued traditional system programming languages like C and C++. Since its stable release, Rust has gained a strong following in the developer community, especially among those focused on creating safe and high-performance system-level applications. Rust is built on three core principles that set it apart from other system programming languages, namely safety, concurrency, and performance. First, let's talk about safety. REST emphasizes memory safety without the need for a garbage collector. This is a significant advantage because it helps prevent common programming errors like null pointer deflections and buffer overflows, which are common source of security vulnerabilities. Next is concurrency. REST enables fearless concurrency, allowing developers to write multi-threaded programs safely. REST ownership and borrowing system ensures that data races where two threads are access the same data at the same time are eliminated at compile time, Make, making concurrent programs much safer. Finally, performance. Rust offered performance that is comparable to C and C++, but with the added benefits of modern language features. This means you get the speed and efficiency needed for system developer programming without sacrificing safety or reliability. Rust design offers like several key benefits that make it particularly well suited for system programming. Let's explore these in more detail. First, Rust ensures memory safety through its own ownership model, which prevents common bugs, like buffer overflows or like null, null pointer dereferencing, which I have uh, talked about earlier as well. This is cru crucial for writing reliable source code, especially in system programming, where such bugs can have serious con uh, consequences. Next, concurrency safety. REST is designed to avoid data races, making multi-threaded programming much safer. The language's strict rules around ownership and borrowing ensures that different threads can interfere with each other's data, which can't interfere with each other's data, eliminating a common source of bug in concurrent programs. Another major benefit is zero-cost abstraction. REST allows you to write higher-level code that is just as efficient as lower-level code. This means you can maintain safety and readability in your code without sacrificing performance. Lastly, there's a robust error handling system which, is, which includes the result and option types, allows for safe and explicit handling of errors. This reduces the chances of unexpected behavior in your programs, making them more reliable. Thus, is highly effective in reducing several critical vulnerabilities that are common in system programming. As you can see in the chart, Thus, significantly reduces issues like buffer overflows, which account for 35% of vulnerabilities. It also ad addresses data races, making up, which makes up like 25%, and null pointers, which represent 20% of vulnerabilities. By eliminating these vulnerabilities at compile time, thus helps developers write more secure and reliable code, reducing the chances of critical bugs in, in production systems. Thus has been has seen significant adoption across the tech industry, particularly among major companies. Tech giants like Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook have adopted Rust for various critical projects, leveraging its safety and performance benefits. In addition to its industrial adoption, Rust has since consistently has been consistently recognized as the most loved programming language in Stack Overflow service for several years, reflecting its strong community support and developer satisfaction illustrates this steady increase in Rust adoption across various industries from 2015 to 2023. As you can see, there's been significant growth, especially after 2017, reflecting Rust's growing reputation for safety, performance, and concurrency. This upward trend highlights how Rust can become a preferred choice for companies that require reliable, efficient, and secure system-level programming. Now that we have explored Rust benefits and adoption, let's compare Rust with other pro popular system programming languages. We look at how Rust stacks up against languages like C++ and Go in terms of safety, concurrency, and performance, highlighting what makes Rust unique. This comparison will help us understand why Rust has gained such a strong foothold in the industry, particularly for projects requiring high reliability and efficiency. Let's compare Rust with C++. 
This provides memory safety at compile time, reducing vulnerabilities, while C relies on manual memory management. REST ownership system ensures safe concurrency, whereas C++ requires manual synchronization, which can lead to errors. Both languages offer similar performance, but REST safety features minimize the risk of critical bugs in production. Now let's compare REST with Go. REST guarantees memory safety without garbage collection, while Go uses a garbage collector, which can introduce latency. Go is simpler for concurrency with Go routines, but REST provides more control and safety with its ownership model. Go excels in server-side applications, whereas Rust is preferred for system-level programming and performance-critical tasks. Now let's, let's focus on the pivotal role Rust plays in edge computing and how it enhances security in cloud environments. We'll explore how Rust's unique features contribute to building secure, efficient, and scalable edge computing systems and its impact on cloud computing security. Rust's focus on safety and performance is particularly valuable in edge computing, where resources are limited and security is critical. REST's ability to compile to WebAssembly allows for efficient execution on edge devices. It allows, also allows for making it highly adaptive. REST's growing ecosystem, including tools like the Tokyo Async Runtime, supports the development of robust and efficient edge applications. Lightweight runtime and ability to compile to WebAssembly make it ideal for secure applications on resource-constrained edge devices. REST provides tools to write concurrent and parallel code safety, crucial for secure interactions in environments with multiple processes. Now, this graph compiles the performance benefits of REST, C++, C++, and Go in edge computing environments. REST excels in memory safety, concurrency, and execution speed, making it a well-rounded choice for edge computing. While C++ offers strong performance, it lacks in safety and concurrency. Go provides easy in concurrency, but sacrifices some execution speed. Thus, balanced strengths across these critical metrics make it part particularly effective for deploying secure and efficient applications on the edge. Next, let's focus on how Rust can be implemented to enhance security in edge computing environments. We'll explore practical strategies and tools that leverage Rust strength to secure edge applications, particularly in resource constrained and distributed settings. REST type system and ownership model ensures that data transmitted over the network is handled safely and securely. For instance, REST LS script is commonly used to establish secure user TLS connection, making it a reliable choice for secure network communication. That's a strong type system and libraries like Ring provides robust tools for implementing secure data encryption and integrity checks. For example, encrypting sensitive data before transmitting it across the network ensures confidentiality and integrity making it a reliable approach in secure communications. Efficiency and lightweight runtime make, make it ideal for edge devices, where resources are limited and security is critical. For instance, Rust can be used to develop firmware for IoT devices, ensuring secure and reliable operation. Let's look at some code examples. Here in this example, we are looking at Rust's approach to memory safety. One of the core features that makes Rust stand out is its ownership model which ensures that each piece of data has a single owner at a time. Here we have mutable vector of integers. Rust allows us to borrow these data mutably, meaning we can modify the data safely without risk, risking data races or memory corruption. The for loop demonstrates this by modifying each element in the vector while summing them up. Notice that even though we are modifying the vector, Rust guarantees that the data is handled safely. Rust compiler would throw an error if we attempted to push new data into the vector while it's being borrowed, preventing potential issues like segmentation faults or undefined behavior. Let's look at another example. This example demonstrates how Rust ensures concurrency safety using threads, arc, and mutex. In this code, multiple threads simulate edge devices collecting sensor data correctly concurrently. The arc allows the sensor data to be shared across threads. And Mutex ensures that data is safely accessed and modified by only one thread at a time. Thus, ownership and concurrency model prevent data races, ensuring that even in a multi-threaded environment, the data remains consistent and secure. 
after all the threads finish, the collector says the collected sensor data is safely printed with demonstrating the ability to handle concurrent operations without compromising safety. Now that we have discussed the technical strengths of Rust and some examples, let's take a look at how these advantages have been applied in real world scenarios. We'll explore use cases where companies have successfully implemented Rust, particularly in niche computing and cloud security to address critical challenges and achieve impressive results. Dropbox adopted Rust to rewrite performance critical components of their like infrastructure as well. By leveraging Rust's safety and efficiency, they enhance the security and performance of their distributed systems, particularly in managing large volumes of sensitive data across global networks. On the other hand, Mozilla utilized Rust to develop the Servo web engine. This decision was driven by the need for a secure and concurrent system that could handle modern web applications and hand demands. Rust memory safety and concurrency feature were critical in creating a fast and secure browsing experience. Fair employed Rust in their edge company platform to optimize performance without compromising on security. Rust strong guarant guarantees against memory related vulnerabilities allowed Cloudflare to maintain high standards in network communications. And it, it ensured secure and efficient data processing at the edge. Across these companies, Rust has significantly reduced common vulnerabilities like data races, buffer overflows, etc., leading to more resilient systems capable of, capable of handling security threats effectively. Rust's success in these cases illustrates its potential to set new standards for secure and reliable computing in various industries. As we conclude this presentation, let's quickly recap the key points we have covered. We have explored how Rust, with its focus on safety, performance, and concurrency, is uniquely suited for edge computing and enhancing security in cloud environments. We discussed real-world applications and case studies that demonstrate Rust's impact on reducing vulnerabilities and improving system robustness across various industries. Looking ahead, Rust's continued adoption in critical areas like edge computing and cloud security suggests that it will play an increasingly important role in shaping the future of secure, reliable, and efficient computing systems. As we move forward, the combination of Rust's growing ecosystem and its fundamental principles position it as a key technology in addressing the evolving challenges of security in the tech landscape. As we wrap up, it's clear that Rust's unique attributes position it well to meet the demands of future computing environments. Finally, Thank you for this opportunity. I hope this presentation has given you valuable insights into the role of Rust in edge computing and its potential to en enhance security in cloud computing environments. Thank you again.